Yes, okay, we enlarge it, so that's when we magnify. Next one, please. Okay, depth of field. One of my favorite concepts. Depth of field is the area of the image that appears in focus from foreground to background and is determined by a combination of the opening of the aperture and the focal length of the lens. So depth of field, as you notice, uh, when you see pictures, um, pictures often have, you know, these shallow things and then there are clear things. So when the part that is clear is in front, and the part uh, behind it is shallow, that is called background. Shallow background, where the background is not clear and the front part is clear. And the opposite is foreground. shallow foreground, okay? Did you get that point? Oh, good. Next. Okay, shutter. Just like the movie, okay? Okay, the shutter is a complicated mechanism that precisely controls the duration of time that light passes through the lens, uh, remains in contact with the digital image sensor. Okay, so what is the shutter? Okay, let's put it this way. When it is really dark, do you notice that uh, there is a sound that your camera makes that it takes a long, like... No and then you release it and then it still goes on and then it stops and you capture the image? Yes. That is what shutter does. So the amount of light uh, that goes through the lens is being controlled by it. Because if it's a dark place and you want more light to pass through, the longer it takes for the shutter to move. Okay? It's like uh, when you open a faucet and then there's more water coming through. So pretend that you, uh, there is a pail so may timba and then a faucet, a gripo, and then when you turn the gripo on, uh, so shall, on you. when you turn it, and then you turn the gripo on, and then the water like flows down, so the more, uh, pretend that is light. So yung light na pumapaso, mas madaling na pupuno yung timba, yung pail. Okay, so parang ganyan din yung shutter. Okay, connected to shutter is the shutter speed. There you go. The so shutter speed refers to the amount of time the shutter is open or the digital image sensor is activated. The exposure of the image is determined by the combination of shutter speed and the opening of the aperture. So, show, 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 show. Okay, so the aperture and the shutter speed go hand in hand. Is that correct, my dear ex-students, ex-students now? <laughs> yes, so they go hand in hand. Uh, there are multiple ways of adjusting the aperture and the shutter speed. But you always have to bear in mind that the larger the aperture, the more light is allowed to pass through the lens. And the larger the numerical value of the f-stop, the smaller the opening of the lens. Okay, next one. Composition. Okay, <laughs> and is that the... Okay, we have vertical. Please stop there, it says. Okay, vertical. Okay, for vertical, we also call this. So when you hold your camera this way, yes, that way. There you go, portrait. Okay. Uh, can I have a camera? Can I borrow a camera? Oh, uh, there you go. Ooh. Okay, when you hold it this way, that is the vertical way of holding it, right? So you, how do you use this? When do you use this? When you do it the vertical way, that is the portrait kind of um, angle, you use it usually for if your subject is like me, just one, in order to maximize the space, you don't have to... Uh, there's not much space wasted, diba? Right? So, when there's a picture, but solo usually, when there's only one person, you use the portrait or the vertical kind. Unlike the next one, which is the horizontal, the way you usually hold your camera. There you go. Um, this one is usually for group shots and sceneries. That's why we call it landscape. Okay, next one. 